Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and thank you for being here for this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about contextual tabs. Now I gotta be honest with you, I have a hard time even saying it, never mind understanding what it means. And when they introduced this, I really had to take a look at this and try to figure out what in the world they were talking about when they talked about contextual tabs. Well, let me give you the short answer. The answer that requires you not to really know what that means. I'm going to come up top and you'll notice we have a tab right here, Home. This is selected and it has certain types of items that we can use when working in Microsoft Word. If I click on the Insert tab, we will have a brand new set of options. In other words, do we want to insert a picture, clip art, shapes? If I click on Page Layout, I have Page Layout options. Well, I think you're starting to get the gist of what I'm doing here. References, Mailings, Review, View add-ins. So I just want to run through those real quickly just so you can see that they exist, they're there. What I do recommend you do to get to understand these a little bit better is I do recommend you get into Microsoft Word. Again, Word is a great place to start because the things you learn in here will carry over to everything else you do in Microsoft Office 2007. It's sort of the way to learn the fundamentals. But I want to draw your attention back to the Home tab. Well, when we work within the ribbon. We also have some other options and I want to draw your attention to this. See below where it says paste, we have a drop down arrow. So we also have drop down menu. So if you're not quite seeing what it is you want, click on the drop down menu and you'll see some more options. Again, this will come with time and experience. Also, in certain areas, you will have what is called the dialog launcher and you'll notice to the right of where it says font if we click on this little arrow right here it's going to drop down another box where we can do some more things with the font and type style things like character spacing I'm going to click cancel let's go up to paragraph I'll illustrate that again using the dialog launcher under paragraph so if you don't see all the things you're looking for check the dialog launcher. Again, it's that little item just on the bottom right hand corner of the different group on the tab. Okay, so we've worked with the tabs, we're looking through the different tabs, we're seeing what's what, where everything is, and again this is going to take you a little time to get used to. But let's take this a step further and let's go back to the whole concept of contextual tabs. Well, when I went in and I first studied this and I was trying to understand what is a contextual tab and how are they relating to that, I literally went to the dictionary and I looked up the word contextual because I didn't understand how they were referring to these tabs as being contextual. So when I went in and looked at the definition, and this is from the Webster's Online Dictionary, I realized this part I highlighted in yellow really sort of explains it. It is the interrelated conditions in which something exists or occurs. Now you might be sitting there and saying, what in the world is he talking about? What does that mean? And what does it have to do with Microsoft Office 2007? Contextual tabs, I don't know what that means. I'm not sure I even care. But let me tell you why this is important and why I want you to understand what this means. When they talk about contextual tabs, in essence what they've done is they have created tabs that only show up when they are needed. Again, let me say that one more time. Contextual tabs will show up only when they are needed. And I'm going to illustrate that with my next example. I want you to observe up on the toolbar, see where it says add-ins? I want you to observe that to the right of this there is nothing there. Zero, zilch. Keep that in mind. Nothing to the right of add-ins. I'm going to go up onto the Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to click on that white sheet of paper and that gives me a brand new blank document. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and click on the Insert tab. I'm going to go to Picture. I'm going to navigate to my logo and go Insert. So what I've just done is I've put in my logo. So I want you to go back up and notice up on the top to the right of the Add-ins tab hey, there's a new tab. It's a contextual tab. In other words, because I inserted a picture, it is showing me picture tools and it's given me a formatting tab. So in other words, it was smart enough to recognize that I'm doing something that requires a new tab. 
So as you're working within Microsoft Office, as you do certain things, different items will appear or show up to reflect what you're working on. So contextual tabs are Microsoft's way of trying to estimate, uh, estimate might not be the right word, but guesstimate what it is you're trying to do and also bring up the appropriate tabs based on the things you're doing. So it's in essence trying to read your mind. And it's sort of interesting, but on one side, when you're new to the software, you're like, where is that thing I'm looking for? And maybe it's not there because you got to do certain things before that tab will appear. So contextual tabs are the new thing within Microsoft Office. It takes a little while to get used to. And later on in another tutorial, if this is all driving you crazy, the whole concept of the ribbon and tabs and all of this, I'll show you a little tool that will allow you to go back and use the old Office system. My name is Tony Holowitz, and thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day.